Hi, beautiful Scorpio. Welcome to New Era. My name is Emma. I don't know what my name is. <laughs> my name is Emma. Uh, I've set a little bit of a different intention here today. I've asked for what your spirit guides uh, wants you to know. But before we get into that, I just want to tell you that at the very end of this reading, I'm going to tell you about a way to win a personal reading with me for free. So if you find that interesting, just keep watching after this reading ends and I'll give you all the information about that. So... What does Scorpio's spirit guides want you to know? We're going to start with three initial cards here to get an overall picture, overall energy from this mystical wisdom deck. I just adore it because it's so beautiful. And uh, then we're just going to go deeper into the message. And if you feel like this is your reading, and apparently you get four cards, uh, there's going to be extend an, an extension. Angel of Miracles is the first one out. The New Beginning with a sort of Phoenix Rising feel here. With the Unicorn, which has come out a couple of times now. Uh, I It was very absent there for a long time. And that now it's like at least two or three times. I think you're the third sign that gets the Unicorn. And then sen Sensuality. And I have to sort of count them as four. <laughs> Usually I count them as seven. Uh, but I just mean that sometimes, you know, the third card is made up out of two cards. Like we have a one, two, three, but there's one that just wants to reinforce the message or whatever. But this time it just came out like a stack of four. So I have to count them as four. So you actually get one extra. And that could be a little bit of, of a message in itself that there's a little extra touch of everything, extra... Uh, cherry on top, the extra mile. Um, we're going to see what this is about. We're going to go deeper into these, each and every one of these energies. So we're going to clarify Angel of Miracles just right away. We're just going to clarify it. When I'm shuffling like this, just try to feel the energy of it. I see some readers like to skip this part when I'm shuffling, but this sh everything is energy and everything is being transmitted to you as we're doing this reading, right? got the TikTok for the angel of miracles so maybe it's just a matter of time before there's some true miracles happening in your life and then your new life can begin we're clarifying a new beginning what do you want Scorpio to know please clarifying the new beginning here chop wood which is basically do what's right in front of you. And then we're clarifying the unicorn. Unicorns, just <laughs> it's a whole bunch of fields coming together with corn. That's a unicorn. It's just, um, pulled into the phone and it says 1111 when I'm recording this so very much alignment 1111 Scorpio go the distance go the distance around the unicorn and then sensuality did I show you the fourth card sensuality what do you want Scorpio to know please to the sea just follow your path, follow where it feels easy, go with the flow. So interesting, just give me one second and let's see if there's like an overall picture here. Okay, um, we're starting with the Angel of Miracles here with open your heart and expect a miracle. I get a lot of fire there. I see a lot of fire underneath it and the fire that bleeds into this next card of this sort of Phoenix Rising situation, rather like that. So there's like a lot of fire taking place. 
which for me usually is action. Like this is when stuff really gets going, stuff happens. Uh, you're seeing a shift, like you're seeing progress in what you're doing. And the TikTok combined with this Angel of Miracles, I just feel like exactly what I said before, it's only a matter of time. And it's such a silly expression because it's always only a matter of time, right? It's always only a matter of time before stuff happens, right? But when we say, when we say it's only a matter of time, it feels like it's closing in. It's, ge it's getting closer and closer to whatever it is that you want to see manifest in your life. And so it's only a matter of time before miracles starts to happen. And I'm seeing someone guiding someone else. Someone, whether this is you guiding your inner child to come out and play and just really follow your own intuition, follow your own dreams, follow your own path. If this is someone else, like a mentor, a teacher, a leader that comes into your life that you're getting help from right now to like guide yourself or even like um, a personal reading or like something like that uh, like taking help from someone else this could also like a third option this could also be you mentoring teaching uh, being the guide um, to someone else in their life at this moment but there's like expect miracles to happen like this is when and what is a miracle? Like I would, I would consider miracles to, to take shape every day since you're the creator of your life. So why do we say miracles? We say miracles be because we feel like it's hard to obtain, hard to create, hard to manifest. It's something that's like out of your reach. Uh, it's something that f we feel like it's, it's impossible to have this situation be this one way and then the next situation is going to be another. Like an health issue or something like it, you would take a miracle for the situation to shift which implies it's out of our hands in a way uh, so I would start to just soften into this m whole miracle idea about saying okay expect a miracle yes you should do that every single day because it's you're you're creating you're the creator of your life of your reality right but there's something here that you've been wanting for a while you have set your eyes on this You've been wanting it for a while. I am now reminded. So is that true, Scorpio, that you actually had this last week as well? Maybe it is. If I trust the guidance there, you had it last week as well. Um, to just expect miracles. Good things starting to happen in your life. And it's only a matter of time. Um, and then we have the Phoenix Rising with new beginnings and begin like begin your new life. So I feel like there's something, we're waiting on something Usually I would say, like, don't wait around for something to start your life. Start your life anyway, and this something is going to come, come around to you. But there really is something coming in here. Something is like the starter point for you. It's the beginning. So, so maybe it's like something like, um, well, I couldn't really begin, the, I couldn't really begin the, the class or the workshop or the education or the job before I got the notice that I got the job. It would be creepy if I got there and I went there anyway. <laughs> I'm here. Why are you here? Uh, we were supposed to let you know. Um, but obviously I'm talking about like energy or like you can be happy in the absence of the thing that you think will make you happy before that shows up, right? You can be happy anyway. You can feel love before your person has shown up in your life. That's, that's only that that I'm talking about. But here's something about like, okay, so something will take place. Something comes into your life. And as it does, your, your new life begins. And it's a coming back from, it's a, it's a coming out of. So this is, Phoenix Rising is about like putting yourself back together and getting off of your knees and just sort of stand up straight again and start all, all over. And it's not starting all over like in a fight or in trauma or in oh, let's get through this mess right now as I'm standing up now. No, that mess is over. And there's something that implies that you it really serves you at this point in, in your life, either as you're, you're waiting for this miracle to happen or as you're, um, or as, or as, sorry, or as, <laughs> I can't talk, or as, you don't say that, or when this, Miracle has already taken place. That was a tough one. Um, when this thing in your life has already happened, uh, and so now you're sort of getting back up on your feet again, there's something about it, like I said, either it's like when you, you wait for this thing to happen, you do what's right in front of your face. Chop wood is about 
do the dishes, vacuum the floor, um, even like good, listen to good music. But as you listen to good music, just be, be one with the music. Like don't go off too much in your brain. This is, this is, um, if you decided to clean out your, your closet, then do that. It's very mundane. It doesn't have to be boring necessarily, but we probably would consider it to be like everyday, everyday chores, chores, everyday chores. Um, that we need to do anyway. Like we just, it's brushing your teeth. It's like do what's, what's, what's right in front of you that we need to take care of is going to sort of keep you in the present moment. And as you stay in the present moment, this miracle thing can take place. Does that make sense? So we're not, we're not a awfully lot like in, like, I, I just so want this to take place. I so want it to happen. And so you're there messing with the result a little bit. But it's like, if you stay away from it, and you just do random things, um, that just keeps you preferably present so that you don't get too much involved in whatever it is that you're trying to create. If you leave that very thing alone, um, for whatever reason, I'm, getting, I'm being given this analogy. Uh, this is many years ago now. I was working um, or talking, what working, with this producer, like when it came to music. And um, uh, he's a well-known singer in Sweden. And he, he just has had this, I, cause I was like, so what are you going to do now like to promote that song? Unless he finished a song and he put it on the record. It's well, <laughs> quite telling my age. Back when you had a record. When you had a record out. We were coming back around to it though. Um, that's quite telling. Quite telling of the age when something comes back around, right? Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> you, you just, you're getting old enough so that something that was in fashion like 10, 20, 30 years ago comes back around. Goodness. So he was putting this uh, song out on, on this record. And I was like, so what are you going to do to promote it? Like what, like what else are you? And he was like, he's so confident in, 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 in his understanding of, n n no, 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 I'm not going to do anything else now. I've done all that I can. I have put my uh, talent, my creativity, my, my happiness, my joy into this, into creating this song and everything around it. And now it's in print and it's like it's out in the in the record stores like it's out there um and he said now that's it's that is its own entity and that entity will do what it will it will attract the listeners uh whether that is one listener or like a gazillion listeners he couldn't say like he, he was like so it was like so did you like don't you want to go around and promote it to get as many people to listen to it as possible and he was like those people will find it anyway and he was such a wise person at that time i was like oh he's just lazy <laughs> he just he doesn't understand he needs to promote this um and obviously there was some promotion because some promotion came his way and then he sort of said yes to that he was really happy to promote his song but he didn't go out of his way just cause because he said so so clearly this song has its own life now i just need to let, like let it breathe and let it find its way and, and now it's time for me to step away and even and what he did was to get on to the next song and so that he was very present and happy with the next creative thing that probably infused a lot to that song itself do you know, do you get what i'm trying to say here there's something about your something you want here and you might not be so hands-on on something. This might be a dream that you've only kept like as a mental uh, image. It's not like, in, in his case, that was a real song. That was like, you know, we have made up a text. Uh, we have a melody. We have people coming in to play music. We have recorded it. We printed it on this uh, record, etc., etc. Like there are so many physical elements to it. Like we've created this song. I feel with this, you don't necessarily... Like you haven't done that necessarily. It's like a, it's like a, you, it's still like on a dream base and you want this to come to fruition and you just keep your head in the present moment doing mundane chores 
will help this thing come to, into, into fruition. Another way of saying this is when it has come to into fruition, you're starting this new life. It's a, it's a, um, the question is, what does your spirit guides um, want you to know? The answer is, okay, we'll help you. It's almost like, okay, I don't know why I say this because it's, that's probably the least general thing that will happen. I don't think that every single Scorpio will win the lottery of the month of April, but who am I to, to close that down? But let's just say for the sake of it that someone won the lottery or someone inherited a big pile of money or like something happened where you just came across a lot of money and it gives you life it gives you an opportunity to start to live in a very different way than you've done like maybe you're now getting a, a house or you're getting like a you're getting a car you're buying things you're investing in things and and from the beginning it feels like it can be a little bit overwhelming so the inspiration here is to really take it without you i'm not saying okay so yeah this is the analogies i'm not telling you what to do with your money I'm just saying the inspiration here is go about it in a very day-to-day -day fashion. Uh, treat it as if this is a very like mundane thing and just learn as you go and like, okay, so what can I do with this money now? I can invest, I can buy, I can lend, <laughs> I, can, I don't know. I don't know what you're going to do. I, I think you get my, my point. It's an either or, either we, we are preparing to have this big win, or we are now staying in the present moment, clearing out our closet, um, slash meeting with an investor, meeting with people who knows what to do with this type of money, or whatever it is that has come in. If this is a job, if this even is a relationship coming in, it's for you to just really take a very everyday look at this. Stay present and, and just learn as you go, okay? That's a long way to say one thing. Uh, and then the unicorn and go the distance. And what, what I feel with this one is like, it's so important. We talk about life purpose and we talk about like, what is your passion in life? And like, you need to find, we need to find like, what is, what is our place in the world? And for me, like your life's purpose is to find who you are, who authentically you are. And then, then, then spew that out into the world as best as you can and there's something about like go the distance like don't give up on yourself don't give up on finding i understand that there's a lot of people that are quite happy i don't know if they're happy but just for the expression's sake they're quite happy to just <coughs> so and so know themselves and so and so know their capacity and their talents and etc and they go to this job where they're okay. They're just really okay. They're not excited to the point that they're gonna like jump out of their pants when Monday comes, but they're, they're, it's not, they're not dying either. They're okay, you know? Scorpio, you have found this not to be okay. You have found this to be that's why we are asking for miracles here. That's why you're, we're doing it a little bit different here, Scorpio. So you're, you're wanting to find what your true passion is. You're wanting to find the authentically, uniquely you. And there's something about it, like sometimes, I even use this expression myself. I'm not saying that you're using it, but it feels like something you would say. Sometimes it's just... You know, I would say things, um, not every day now, because I'm learning as I go. I'm learning as I go with my life. I'm learning to deal with being aware, to deal with being conscious. But definitely there's been times where I said, you know, it was just so much easier when I didn't know so much. It was so much easier when I wasn't, it might sound a little bit arrogant, but when I wasn't this wise, when I didn't have all this knowledge, when I, when, when I wasn't this conscious, it was just so much easier. It was so easy to just walk around and think you were a limited being and blame your life on others. <laughs> it was just so much easier. Of course it wasn't easier. It wasn't easier. That's a trap. That's, that's prison. To know your real potential, your full potential, and understand that you're completely free to do whatever with your life that you wish, 
it's exhausting sometimes, but obviously that is, that is really, really beautiful. There's something here to discover yourself, Scorpio, and like, don't give up to do not it's like i don't think you will but it's here and this is what your spirit guides wants you to know it's like okay you're so on the brink to creating something awesome that will just change your life you will begin a new life and it's so different that we have chop wood that we have you will learn this as you go like just take a breather and, and just understand that this big change of yours that you said yes to and then hyperventilating, uh, like saying yes to the universe, letting, letting this in, whatever this is for you, is like you will, you will learn as you go. But the bigger part here is that it's a result of that you are really uniquely, unicorn, um, finding yourself, finding out who you truly are in this world. And there's occasions there are situations where it feels like it comes over you to just say oh screw it I'll just go back to that job and it, it's fine I'll what do I have to do with like self-realization and all that crap <laughs> like I don't, I don't want to do that anymore it just is too tough man you're going to be so happy you stay the course and even though you take like a breather you take five days off or you take five months off to just say I'm just going to follow whatever anybody else has invented because this, this is too tough I don't want to I don't want to walk my own path because it's too, it's too hard you know it comes and I understand now completely why this is here sensuality expe express your sensuality with the to the sea is all about listening to that own flow inside of yourself like sensuality for me is just very feminine it's very flowy it's very going with the tides if that makes sense and we have all these beautiful um rainbow waves coming out of you we have someone lifting the veil so there's like a there's an opportunity to come into a different reality and the way that we do this and the way that you stay the course and you truly truly find yourself is to go with the flow go where it feels easy to the sea is all about following the stream following the Just follow the flow. And so perhaps we have a little bit of a solution to this. We have more information about it in the extension. Let's see what we find there. If you're interested, um, you're so welcome there. But first, I want to tell you about a chance to win a person reading with me for free. Uh, and all you have to do, which I, what's the, which was the reason why I even came up with this idea, was that how can we send a little bit more love into the world? And the way you do that is to just close your eyes if that feels comfortable to you. Just like really, you don't have to do this, but like really close your eyes and just sit with someone or something in your mind or in your heart that you love um, or feel peaceful around or feel harmony around. Uh, and as you sit there and just, and if you don't find that, just go to your heart for three to five minutes and you will just emanate, you will just emanate this beautiful um energy out into the world and as a as a beautiful consequence of that you're automatically in the draw um, to have a chance to win a personal reading I want you to write something in the comment section that you are grateful for this situation this person that you feel in love for if you don't want to be that personal or private just write something like I'm in or I want to be a part of this draw um, just something that makes me understand <coughs> excuse me that you want to be a part of this uh, because not everyone is interested, okay? And just put that in the comment section down below. I think that was it. I will announce the winner on the 14th of April and I just realized that that is on the, you don't say pink Thursday, do you? <laughs> what do you say? I don't know what that's called. Hjertorsdag in Swedish. Hjertorsdag. Uh, it's Easter. It's the first day of Easter anyway and I didn't realize that. I was just picking out the the numbers because I love the numbers 14 and 4. Anyway, that's the day when I will announce the winner of this competition. If you want to come to the extension, both of those links to get you there are in the description box as well. Uh, so go check them out and see it, which one fits you better. And I hope to see some of you guys there. If not, thank you so much for watching. Scorpio, I really appreciate you being here watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't done that already. It really helps the channel. 
maybe even a little thumbs up if you like the video. Okay, take care, bye. I just saw this major face here, um, like 24 and a half minutes in. Maybe look at that, see if that came up. It, pr it needed to come up on the camera because I wouldn't be able to see it otherwise. Anyway, bye.